what's there? Nothing. It's a bus stop. But we're on a route to Porto. Rolling the suitcases up there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited to tell you guys that we are in Porto. We're actually staying at the Porto Wine Hostel. It's really exciting, and I'm gonna show you uh, where me and Eli are staying. This is the first time we're actually sharing a hostel room together. So I am in the top bunk, obviously. Eli's in the bottom, and so. Um, this is our kind of storage space, so we both get a locker with mirrors. This is the bathroom. So on this side we have the shower, and on this side we have the toilet. Really exciting stuff. But I am so excited for Porto, literally I'm so excited for Portugal as a whole. Um, but it's going to be so amazing, we have so many fun activities planned, so. Ula! Bad allergies. Yeah. Sucks to suck though. Hi from the hostel. We are the last people to leave, but it's only like just after nine, right? Yeah. Exciting. Um, we're gonna walk up that giant hill thing and to eat. And yeah, that's what's going on. We're doing the hop on, hop off probably today because we just haven't officially booked the tickets. Yeah. But we've booked with them like a bunch before in the other countries, and so we need our discount. And it's a lot of fun, so. If we could run it, if we could run it back, and do you wonder? If we could run it back, if we could run it, if we could run it back, and do you wonder? If we could run it back. It's really nice though. Very breezy. We're at the beachy part. say Lisbon is the city of seven hills and if that's true then Porto must be the city of six hills because god damn yeah. damn oh look at the station estacion dude I don't know what train is in Portuguese I don't even know what station is in Portuguese I just guessed <laughs> go 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 One thing. <laughs> little funny story for everybody on the vlog. When me and I were first getting to know each other, we went to the lake 
and I kept putting on sunscreen and she called me or she was joking she was like Eli you don't need that much sunscreen you don't need that much sunscreen don't worry about it don't worry about it don't worry about it Eli then we got home both of our feet were very sunburned because we didn't put sunblock on them and Mia was so badly sunburned that she had a welt on her shoulder from the sun so now what do I do I put on extra and that's the facts Okay, I did put on sunscreen. I just didn't think I needed to like reply, reply. every five minutes. <laughs> Eli has done this like 18 times already. First re reapplication of the day. There you go, Mia. Ooh, is that already a sunburn? No, I. you can feel the sunscreen currently on my leg. Oh, okay. Reapplication done. Oh, did I get my neck? Yeah. Is that even a thing? Yep. Okay, Eli, what's the weather report for Porto? Hot. Very hot. Ooh, this guy just missed his bus. He is not enjoying the heat. Um, but it's very hot. Doesn't doesn't say it's very hot, but the sun is making it feel very hot. Porto is such a lovely city and I have the bestest, the bestest girlfriend to explore with. Okay, this might sound really crazy coming from me, but we're about to do 500 stairs for a view. Actually, that doesn't sound that crazy for me. If there's a view involved, I think it's fine. All right, let's do it. It's very cool, I like it. All right. Because of the angle. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Oh, you're like ascending. <laughs> trips that takes the longest is literally finding food yeah. yeah so we will be sitting here for a while we are doing Portugal at night yes. so yeah I think that's it that is night in Portugal I'm not just saying it in a gangster way <laughs> night okay thanks for the clarification from far away she looks so good Grew up in the same neighborhood And that's how to rub salt in the wound Spend a few hours on the reservoir Never broke a bone so I'm gonna try hard To prove you wrong That I'm not who I used to the storage left in my phone so <laughs> if you're wondering why there's literally nothing <laughs> that's why but today we're going to the bookstore that apparently inspired Harry Potter and we're getting breakfast and we're getting ice cream and we're shopping and we're going on a bridge so yay Porto we are en route to get breakfast and the thing is we're going to where we went for dinner last night that I didn't record because of the storage problem mm -hmm. 
never taken me a lot to complex And I know why you said it Cause I'm reading every word in your voice and we're checking it in just to like organize our stuff and put some laundry in but then we're supposedly getting ice cream going to a pretty bridge and we're i think having wine we might have a glass of wine at the hostel um because we're staying in a wine hostel so it's super super cheap and then we're going to a wine tasting that we got with our tickets to our sightseeing bus um the sightseeing buses have gone progressively worse i would say um, it started off really strong and like amazing experience, but there's not a lot of sites to see. So we got the 48 hour pass, but it, we only needed to take us to this wine place, so. <laughs> anyway. tasting and tour. We're mostly here for the tasting. Um, it's a free activity, so that's... <laughs> Wait. Sorry, but what are those birds? They are literally massive. <laughs> We are back and we're just waiting to go out for dinner. Eli is grabbing some train tickets so that we can leave Porto and then we can head to Lagos very, 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 very early in the morning. What did you get to drink? A beer. Very, very popular local beer. Super Bach. When you come close, I feel alive. Welcome to hell, babe. Um, 
It is like, what time is it? 6.06. 6 6.06. But that means to get to this point, we were up at 5.30. Yay! <laughs> Good morning, sir. <laughs> Eli's just calling an Uber, I think. Yeah. delayed so we missed our bus so we booked another bus and now it's 10 20 and we're sitting here at the train station only 40 minutes to kill though so we gotta get some food and some coffee i think how are you feeling mia yeah. good dead. dead i too i'm feeling dead no I'm just kidding I'm feeling alive vigorously alive All right, vlog. We are at the beautiful roadside city of Grandola. It's a little stop along the highway, gourmet rest stop. And uh, what are your thoughts, Mia? It's not amazing, um, but I'm definitely more awake. I was literally had my eyes closed the whole way here, but now after a little break, I feel better. I was so happy to get Wi-Fi because. I made a killer story from Mother's Day and I couldn't post it until we got to Wi-Fi. It was garbage Wi-Fi, but it was Wi-Fi. Um, yep. I'm so dead. We still have like three hours to go, so I'm like crying inside. <laughs> 